Finally, after what's felt like years of waiting, Sonic X Shadow Generations has finally come out. I can never say that name with a straight face. I was so excited for this game, it's probably the most excited I've been since Cuphead Season 3. Netflix, please respond to my emails. And now, the game's at, and as you can probably tell from the title, I really liked it. Not as much as Sonic Adventure, though, nothing beats that. What's that? Okay, enough dilly-dallying, let's talk about the actual game now. Like, like the Shadow Generations part. Shadow, stop! This game is great, it feels amazing to control, the new Doom powers that they made are fun, unlike some other games. And the best part of all is that the game feels actually finished. I experienced no bugs during my playthrough. The game also looks great even on my 10 year old Xbox One and I refuse to upgrade them. The lighting is also brilliant, when I look back on the game, the, the, the footage of the game I took, the, I was actually surprised to see how good it looked. Overall, it's great, second best Sonic game. But you're not here to see what I like about the game. You're here to see what I hate. There's not much, actually. The loading times felt pretty long, but I guess that's my fault for using hardware that's almost as old as the original Sonic Generations itself. So, yeah. Royal Canyon is an okay stage. Also, here's my rankings for all the stages, if you were wondering. And I felt like the challenge things dragged out a bit, but the thing is they, again, also dragged out in the originals. So, yeah, not much I disliked about it, it but by the way, I need to mention the writing is absolutely amazing. The characters are treated like actual people, and Shadow is not portrayed as some stupid edgelord whose only character traits are Mean and Maria. Now he's an actual character with uh, thoughts and emotions, like he's supposed to be. The writers did an amazing job with this. But this isn't the only part of the game. There's also a Sonic Generations remaster included. That's why it's named that. When this game was revealed, I was thinking of just playing the Sonic Generations remaster since I didn't technically beat that game since my little brother Blabberino played the last couple of levels. So I thought, hey, since this remaster is coming out, I'll just play the Sonic Generations part and my little brother could play the Shadow Generations part since I thought you could only use one save file for each game. As you can see, I changed my mind. Anyway, let's talk about the actual thing now. Gameplay-wise, the game's the exact same. It just feels a bit smoother since it now runs at 60 FPS instead of 30, which feels really good, though the Shadow Generations part is 30 FPS if you play on a console that's more than 4 years old, which I sort of noticed. I felt like sh the Shadow part felt a bit choppier than the Sonic part, but it's not a huge deal. The, m the main thing that was changed in Sonic Generations is the writing. Every cutscene is now rewritten, and I'm mixed on this. Most of the changes are pointless, which is downright bad, like overall it's fine, but some of the changes just make me annoyed. Like in that, like in that one scene where they figure out they're traveling through time, and originally Sonic was like, how did this happen? But, but now he's making a random Sonic CD reference, which just kind of feels forced. Some jokes are just removed, like Knuckles calling classic Sonic fat, now he's just asking where his island is, which is a change I actually like, since because, like they didn't change any of the animations or anything. So now it implies that Sonic ate Angel Island since he's still rubbing his stomach. <laughs> They've also completely changed Amy's personality for some reason. She used to be obsessed with Sonic, but now she's just a supportive friend. Which I don't really guess. That's literally Amy's entire personality and you change it out of nowhere. It's not even character development, they literally went back and changed an old game. And it's not that bad, it's just cutscenes after all. And the actually good changes they made to Sonic Generations are really good, and this makes it the definitive version of the game. Anyway, in conclusion, since I, I don't want to work on this video any longer, Sonic X Shadow Generations is a really hip game. And you should probably play it if you're a human being or a dog. I give it a 10 out of 10.